Hey, I'm Dennis Solis from the Home Gym Tech Support YouTube channel. And today I'm going to give you my first impression of Tough Fit Decagon PEV Dumbbells. I have to say that I like these as an option if you're setting up your home gym for the first time, especially if you don't plan to upgrade in the future. I'll explain why that is in just a minute. But first, do me a favor, hit that like button, please subscribe, and we're going to get right into it. The first impression is I like the contrasting colors, the yellow and the black, and uh, I really enjoyed the quality of the laser etching into the, the face of the plates here. What it does, it creates like a really nice, clean look. Um, the second thing I noticed about these dumbbells was the decagon shape. There's 10 sides, and what that does, it helps prevent from excessive rolling or mi even minimizes the amount of rolling when you're completing a set. This is a, a regular garage, just so it has like a grade to it, so that way water drains out that way. And uh, yeah, I mean, it's pretty, that's not the, you can you see that? It's pretty good. It's not, it's not the greatest, but I have a set of old school dumbbells, the round ones, and don't even try that on this grade. It won't even work. There is a slight odor. Most of these rubber products, they have this odor that can be overpowering, very pungent to some people, they don't like it. And especially since we're using these in closed spaces, like for instance, my garage here, or into um, like, say, like a bonus room in your home, that smell and that odor, can really drive you away from using these, but it's uh, for this garage gym setup, I think it's fine, and um, when I walk in, it's not something I notice. You could purchase these in singles, or you could purchase them in pairs, and they come from five to 50 pounds in five pound increments. I got the 15 to 50 pound setup here. I really enjoyed the knurling, although, I will say the knurling doesn't extend all the way. There's this little bit. The etching is a nice blend between being too shallow and too deep. Uh, so that way it feels comfortable in your hand. This is 20 pounds and this is, it feel comfortable. I feel safe lifting this up over my head and having my family use it, so. And on the website, all the dimensions are listed. So this is a 30 pounder and it's 10.57, 10.57 inches. Here's a 15, the 15 is nine inches on the mark. And there, here's the 40. This one is 11 inches, maybe 10 and five sixteenths or something. And then, the 50 is 11 and a quarter inches. So yeah, they range in, as the weights uh, go up, they get longer and even taller. Um, so this one here, the 50 pounder, it's about seven and a half inches in height. And then the, compared to the 15 pounder, you got about six inches in height. Each of the diameter of the handle is 1.27 inches. That's what's listed on the website. What do you think? It's pretty close. The rest was really easy to put together. It says on the instruction, you need two people, but I found that one person was just fine putting this together. So let's go straight across here. Then you got 56 and just over a half, maybe 9 sixteenths. So yeah, so 56 and 9 sixteenths on the width. The height here is 35 inches on the mark and the depth for the lower portion is 26 and three quarter inches. So that's for the lower portion, the midsection. I'll just put it from the back here. 
The midsection is about 21 inches, and then the top section is only 11 inches. Uh, I found that the hardware that it came with was pretty much the same as every manufacturer that's putting out equipment. Good quality, the pitch of the threads are good, and I really enjoyed um, the stamp outs. Stamp outs are when pieces of steel are cut or hold, whatever the design may be. Uh, I found them to be on here clean and clear. There weren't any burrs so you could cut yourself during the assembly process. So how many dumbbells can we fit on the shelf? So you see some space here between the 15, the 20 and the 20 and the 25. Um, I put that out there because I just enjoy aesthetically nice. Um, I guess it looks a little bit more even in, in my opinion. Um, but you can fit, like, let's say you, you can start on the fifth, the fives, the tens, and the fifteens. So let's say, and from the five to the fifteen, they're the same dimensions. Remember, let's remember that. So we'll put here, So that's two sets. And that's three sets from five. This would be the five, this would be the 10, the 15. Now we're moving on to the 20s. And that's there's the 25 right here. So I would say you could get four, um, four pairs from five to 20 across the top. And anything after that, uh, you'll probably only be using three pairs. Um, like you see down here at the bottom, the 50s, the 45s and the 40s right here. And these, the bottom rack has, uh, it's more like a shelf instead of like setting these in place because you have this space here. And I like that because the bottom shelf, you could hold um, like medicine balls or other attachments that you'd like to use during your dumbbell workouts. I will say the rack pretty stable, especially on this grade for a garage, right? The rack is rated for a thousand pounds. That's what it says on the website, but Maybe you can put a thousand pounds on the rack, but if you're using the dumbbells as any normal person would be using, you know, switching, uh, starting off with a lighter weight for your warm up, and then, you know, for your, your PR, you're using a heavier weight. Um, and when you're re-racking these things, you're not being the most gentle person. Uh, you're dropping them, you're, um, you're bumping into them, and if you've ever seen like the 90s magazines of muscle fitness to cover, I think it was Dorian Yates. He was like pulling like these like 200 pound dumbbells and his hand was on the rack and he was pulling, right? Um, you wouldn't be able to do that. And not that you have 200 pound uh, dumbbells here, but uh, somebody like me, I weigh about 200 pounds. And when I put my hand on the rack to brace myself to do some rows, I saw that the that there was some bending, especially on top, of, on the top and the middle shelving. The grade of steel is not the, the most thickest material that they're using here. This section is bowing, so I wouldn't feel too comfortable putting three of the dumbbells here. It's just, you could do it, it's gonna fit, but I don't like um, the bowing action that I see across the middle section. So here's my final verdict. It offers versatility. The dumbbell rack keeps the dumbbells organized off the floor and I don't have to worry about people tripping over them. So um, as I say that, let me put the dumbbell back onto the shelf.